My name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a business and branding strategist and you know I'm really quite liking the setup that uh, my associate came up with. We're sort of uh, in my office and I'm imagining you sitting across from me, which you would be because I'm at my desk and I would invite you in this conversation and the format we chose to go with here is to answer questions that I actually receive from clients, whether those are business clients or branding clients or clients that are doing both together. Because if you want to have a really good enrolling sound branding strategy, a brand that speaks volumes to your clients and customers, you also really want to have a good business strategy. So those two things come together to support you and to be a really solid expression of who you are in your life and in the work that you do. So the question that I get often is, okay, great, that all sounds wonderful. Uh, we're usually in the middle of working out a process. The client has a very good understanding of who they are in business, they know their value and just something happens. Life gets in the way of our best plans. Things don't pencil out exactly the way that we had hoped, and that's okay. Um, it has to be, because that's just part of what happens in our life and in our work. So the question is, great, how do I stay the course? What do I do, what does it take? So I jotted down a couple of things that I say to myself because I talk to uh, my clients, to you, the same way that I uh, talk to myself. Actually, if I'm being honest, I'm a little bit meaner to myself than I am to people who can, who work with me and who could actually hear me. Um, but be that as it may, what I want to tell you is these are the kinds of things that I, that I say, that I say to myself, that I say to clients. What do I do to stay the course? when something is happening, when life gets in the way, when circumstances arise. The very first thing that I would say to you is know your value proposition, know who you are, uh, know what you bring to the table, um, know how it impacts you, your inner circle, your family, your community. Who are you? Remind yourself of the truth about who you are and the value you bring through your life and through your work. And don't ever confuse your value with your worth. Because I think there are seasons in our lives and times in our lives where we're just a bit stumped about what am I actually doing? What is my value proposition? What is the value I bring through my life and through my work? And those are tough times, um, but they can be really healthy times uh, to go through and to get to the bottom of your value prop. But your worth is non-negotiable. You are and have worth just by virtue of living and breathing on earth. Uh, you are a soul and you have a soul and you are here with a human experience and you have worth. No one um, may take that away from you. So first and foremost, know your value. Secondly, is when you make a mistake, say you really screwed up, you did something that you maybe shouldn't have done, you said something that maybe you shouldn't have said, maybe you didn't even mean it, but it turns out to be a mistake. You know what? Own it. Just own your stuff. Say, I screwed up and apologize, ask for forgiveness, say you're sorry, yes in business. Yes, asking for forgiveness is not just a place or something you do in us, um, intimate or personal relationships. It is absolutely something you do in, in a big way in business, whether that is with one person, an employee, a coworker, a teammate, a client, or on a larger scale, if you did or said something that, that turns out to be a mistake and you own it and it's impacting more than one person, 
you you want to be able to get to the point where you can say, yeah, I, I messed up, I, I apologize, I'm sorry, please forgive me, here is how I'm going to um, fix it or mitigate it or ensure that to the best of my abilities, I'm not going to do that again in the future. That's called learning curve. We all make mistakes and I think it builds character and credibility when we get to the point of owning what it is we've done wrong. Um, that also has a direct impact. I imagine it as sort of like a, a jolt, a push, a real, um, just a real kind of a force that gets us out of um, being stuck, out of a, a circumstance that maybe would threaten to own us or would threaten to compromise our course. So one of the ways to stay the course is to own your mistakes. Okay, third, ask for help. Um, and this is really, really important. And this is something that I get to have the pleasure to do with people I work with. They ask for help. And it's one of my favorite things uh, to get to do. And I don't do that on my own. I have a team of people who support me. Uh, my associate is often the person that I turn to and say, hey, this client is struggling with something. How can we help them? Because they have asked for help. If you don't ask for help, people are likely not going to know that you need it. And so um, sometimes clients will tell me or people will tell me, I don't know who to ask. That is a very honest, humble, very important and actually kind thing to say because it's kind to yourself to acknowledge that you're having um, just you're stumped a bit and maybe you don't have this inner circle and this network. I would encourage you to look forward in your life and in your business and to build that inner circle. I heard it said recently that every single business owner, and I would say every person needs a board of directors. We need an inner circle, people who sit around the table or you know sit around the, the, the fire, um, sort of like a fire, fireside chat, people who come near to you, who you can ask, for advice, people you uh, you trust, people who know your value proposition, and people who don't uh, worry or are afraid to 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 pull your feet to the fire, so to speak, to really call you out or to point out to you where you have made a mistake. That is really really important. Those are the very same people that you would ask for help. The same thing with asking for help. I would also say ask for feedback. Sometimes we don't know we need help. And if we're, if we're feeling uh, stuck, if we don't know how to stay the course, asking for feedback, those same, that same group of people or that same person that you would ask for help, you would wanna ask them for feedback. And in their feedback, something might come up where you know or you can recognize that that's a place for, to ask for help. Okay, this is the last one that I wanna share with you. And it's really a very important one. I've gotten a lot of pushback about this in my own life because I am somebody who really loves a drive. I, I, am, I am not a drive on a Sunday afternoon, but that too, but driving, um, that, that, that push forward. And so the last thing I would say to you, and it's, it's, it's a must, you must move forward. You must continue to put one foot in front of the other, to, to exercise your strength and your power and your, and your force in moving forward in the endeavor that you have chosen to, uh, to use as an expression of who you are. Because if you don't move forward, you're going to stay stuck. And all of the mistakes and all of the things that we need to ask for help for and all of the things that we, we question, are not big enough and they should not be allowed to be big enough to stop you dead in your tracks. You have, you, you've got to pull yourself up and move forward. Now, that doesn't happen at the expense of rest and at the expense of a break or at the expense of taking really good care of yourself. But also, don't forget, don't forget to put on your big girl shoes and go out there and do the work and move forward no matter what, at all cost, because you're worth it. I mean that, it's not hashtag you're worth it, your endeavor is worth it. What you said you were going to do, your integrity, your value proposition, it's worth that push and you have got to move forward. And if you are in a place where you're just like, you know what, that all sounds wonderful, I have no idea what to do, how to take that next step, 
And if you do not know who to ask, I would hope that you would find uh, a couple of minutes to reach out and you can reach out to me. I'm here and I can't promise you any grand solutions, but I can promise you that these are the things I have done in my own life. We have done this as a team multiple times. This is what we do and uh, we are, I am here, we are here to support you if you would choose to ask for that support. I am so glad that we get to hang out in this way. I hope this brings you value. I love connecting with you and I love hearing from you. So we'll see you again soon. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.